Fox News is basically coming apart at the seams, and I don't think that anyone enjoys watching it quite as much as me. Even our friendly neighborhood trolls, our leftist trolls, I don't think they like this as much as I do. You know, it's funny, you know, if you take a trip through any of the left-wing internet echo chambers, or even if you follow any of the especially unhinged leftists that we have in the chat here on this channel, they really do believe that Fox News is like some sort of right-wing racist dog whistle collection of crazy people. They somehow they have no idea that all they are is the same mainstream liberal media special interest puppets talking the same January 6th nonsense, the same Nikki Haley has a chance fantasy. You know, basically, aside from actually covering the truth about the most dangerous border in the entire world, ours, they're the same. They're the same as any of the CNNs or MSNBC. They're just the same animal, man. And even Sean Hannity is starting to call it out. And truly, it's about damn time for that because the fact that he hasn't, I've essentially lost all hope in Sean Hannity, all belief in Sean Hannity. But he finally called it out in a pretty funny Probably the only way he really could have actually gotten away with it. And I'll show you that in a moment, guys. But before I do, if you haven't already, guys, join us and help the channel grow. Like, comment, subscribe, share. All of it's very, very important. This is going to be a really, really important year for conservative voices. And every bit of support really, really does matter. And it really does help. So here's where we're at. Sean Hannity was live on a segment of Fox and Friends a couple of days ago, I guess. And he took a little shot at Ducey's dad. Independence, because here there, uh, in the state, there are 300,000 Democrats, 300,000 Republicans, 400,000 independents. If they all show up, they, they're going to make a big difference. It definitely is a possibility. I don't happen to like, I love the people of New Hampshire. I love the state of New Hampshire. I don't like their system, what they call an open primary, where people, you know, they were switching in the last number of weeks from Democrat to independent. October So they could the, wreak a little yeah. havoc inside the Republican Party. Their thinking is, okay, if we help one candidate, in this case, it would be Nikki Haley, um, get over the hump, then, okay, that's more money than that whoever the inevitable Republican candidate is, it seems like Trump by a long sh uh, shot. It, I, I think if Trump wins this tomorrow by the margins we're seeing, it is over. I think a question for Nikki Haley, who I think ran a great campaign. Ron DeSantis ran a great campaign. All the, you know, all the money Monday morning quarterbacks don't mean a thing to me. Um, he went to all 99 counties, Ron did, in uh, Iowa. Ultimate retail politician. Retail politician, and he went out, he asked people for a vote. In any other year, what did he have, 21, 22 percent? That would be a great showing in Iowa. Um, but this, I keep saying about Donald Trump, that he de defies all conventional Political gravity. That's an understatement. Right. That says, well, to you Why it is. is that all the What's happening to you, Steve? You're, are you moving to the left on me? What are you doing? I am screen left right now. <laughs> that's true. What do, um, all the court cases, all of this that's happened to Donald Trump, is that helping him? It certainly, that's where it defies conventional political gravity. You would think somebody gets arrested or somebody gets arraigned. That, oh, <laughs> your poll numbers are going to go down. But it's all by Democrats, every you single see, case. And we saw that in Iowa in the exit polls. 80% of the people of Iowa, smart people, salt of the earth, and they see through this, starting with the Russia hoax, impeachment one, impeachment two, you know, 51 Intel, uh, former Intel people lying about right. Hunter's laptop. Uh, charge after charge after charge. They see this for what it is. They see it as, as purely political. And, you know, we've got to be careful as a country because if we don't have equal justice right. under the law and equal application of our laws, we don't have a constitution. And it gets to be that serious or we weaponize and the, use our law to criminalize political differences. Another. Yeah, so you see that. I mean, all started with some pretty interesting stuff, actually. For example, I did not know that about New Hampshire's primary system. I didn't know that that, that was a thing. People just switching over to basically play spoiler. And it would actually be pretty interesting to see the numbers on how many people actually did file a change and how they voted. If, if somebody does a story on that, I'd love to see that. But, you know, if you caught in the middle there, you know, Steve Ducey basically says that Trump defying political logic is an understatement. And Hannity basically whacked him right between the eyes. Yeah. To you, it's an understatement. What's happened to you? You know, are you moving to the left on me? He said it like a joke, 
but he was definitely not joking. He's asking the same question we've all been asking. Is Ducey moving to the left? And I guess to Ducey's credit, you know, he didn't try to defend or protect himself. He just tried to make a joke out of it and let Sean Hannity move on. But he has been moving to the left. What do you, what do you guys think? Has Ducey moved to the left? And is he the only one on that network? I mean, the way I see it, there are certain more establishment-type Republican voices on Fox that have just kind of been emboldened to get louder and louder. You know, the Nikki Haley, Chris Christie-type Republicans, there's a few of them on there. And, and that's fine. You know, it is a diverse party, and it, it takes all types, and, and there's room for everybody. But it does make you wonder, you know, what are their motivations? But anyway, that's just my take, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.